Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the AII PMR MPT 2023 entrance test and the admission process. So hello, my name is Shangla Punda and I'm currently pursuing my master's from NILD Kolkata. So from the past two years, I was making some videos on MPT entrance test and these two videos will give you a basic idea about the AI PMR entrance tests. So please click on the i button to see those videos and have a basic idea. So the important points for this year, first is that you need to complete your internship on or before 31st of July 2023. The application fees for this exam is 650 for one course, that is if you are opting only for MPT, and 1150 rupees for two courses, that is if you are applying for MPT and also the fellowship course. Now don't forget to write your name, course name, contact number on the back of the demand draft and keep a photocopy of that demand draft for your future reference. Now you can also go to the AIPMR college and submit all the documents by yourself. But in that case, you also need to collect your admit card before the exam date by yourself. Now about the question pattern. So in the brochure, you can see the total marks of the entrance test is 100 and the total duration of this examination is one and a half hour. But practically in the last year, that is in the 2022 examination, the total marks was 50 and the duration was of one hour and there was no negative marking. So this year also the SIP distribution has changed. So previously in the 2021-2022 session, one seat was allotted for general candidate in the neurophysiotherapy specialty and one OBC candidate will get the neurophysiotherapy specialty and the ST candidate will get the musculoskeletal specialty. But this year it has changed. So the general candidate will get the musculoskeletal and the OBC and SC candidate will get the neuro specialty respectively. So from the previous slide, you can see that for a general candidate, there is no neuro seats. So if you are aiming for the neuro seat and if you are a general candidate, then it's kind of impossible. But if I were you, I will take this as an opportunity. Why I'm saying this? See, there is only one seat for ortho, which is secured by a general candidate. But there are two seats for neuro and all of these seats are for reserved categories. But remember, every time it is not filled by a reserved category candidate. So in that case, if the reserved candidates does not take that seat, then it can be a general seat. Those were the basic outlines of this exam. Now I will talk about the most frequently asked questions on the basis that I received on my social media handles. So what are the things that you need to send to them? Uh, first, you need to send the application form completely in a good handwriting in original. Please keep a photocopy of that for your reference. You need to send the demand draft and you need to write all of those things, write your name, course and the phone number back of the demand draft. You also need to fill up the admit card properly and also you need to fill another copy of your admit card and please keep a copy to yourself for future reference. You also need to attach a self-attested envelope affixing a postage stamp of rupees 60. Now in this envelope, they will send you the admit card back to you. Now the optional ones that you can send on the basis of your category, that is first is the OBC certificate, the disability certificate, and lastly the caste validity certificate. So it is only required for Maharashtra students. Remember you need to send only the photocopies and please don't send the original ones, right? Now I also received a question like why we need to send the postage stamp of rupees 60, what is it? So postage stamp are issued by our post offices. So it is kind of a prepaid voucher and you need to attach the postage stamps in the fresh envelope properly and send that with the forms and other documents. It is needed as when they send you the admit card, it would be of no problem as it acts as your prepaid envelope. So they don't need to pay anything for your admit card. Now I think this is the most burning or most asked question that do I need to register in the Maharashtra PTOT Council before the examination? God, no. You don't need to register yourself under the Maharashtra PTOT Council. You only need to do that only when your admission is confirmed. But yes, you need to pay a late fees in that case and you will get time to register yourself. So do not panic, just focus on your exam for right now. Now here in the brochure, you can see the point 5.7, right? Candidate must be registered with the Maharashtra PTOT Council. It is mandatory, but students or candidates outside of Maharashtra, they will give you time to do that. 
however you need to pay a late fees to the university the next question that i get most often is that will i get any stipend so again the answer is no but though it is a central government institute you won't get a stipend there see among other government colleges like nild or sb nitar the fees here is the lowest so you are paying like 16000 something including your hostel fees wherein in case of nild now it is increased like 80 90000 right and if i remember correctly it is without the hostel fees so it is much higher in nld or nita the fees structure is same right but in case of apmar the fee structure is very less so you do not get a stipend here now what if you do not receive the admit card so first of all do not worry there will be an extra set of admit card that you have sent to them remember in the first part of the video i told you that you need to send a duplicate copy of admit card so they will keep that in the examination center for you you need to verify your candidate ship by showing them your identity proof like your other card voter card passport and so on the people over there will be very helpful and don't panic keep calm they will give you the duplicate admit card and you will give the exam right don't worry all the best now all the important dates at a glance so first you need to complete your internship before 31st of july or on 31st of july the last date of issue of application from is 16th of august the date of entrance test is 27th of august you need to report at the venue 10:30 am the time of entrance test is 11 am and the result of entrance test will be like after one or two weeks on the basis of my experience from pvs year now remember the examination center is very near to the college the lala rajpat rai it's a commerce college and the college is huge so you don't need to think about the college atmosphere so all the best you will do great in the exam and i know i believe that thank you so much for watching the video till the end i hope i have cleared all of your doubts and everything on the apmar entrance exam now if i do that then please like share and subscribe to my channel and also hit the bell icon thank you so much see you in the next video